Hi, Todd from Wood Turning Tool Store. Um, so this is the project uh, video that I, I think I've mentioned in uh, in the Elio DR video. So um, the project is uh, it's a, it's a honeydew list item. So my wife uh, Shelly has been uh, um, growing uh, herbs and and tomatoes and uh, other things in these uh, hydroponic gardens, if you will. They're from Arrow Garden. And uh, it's uh, it's been great. The you've you've never tasted arugula uh, unless you tasted it freshly grown in one of those hydroponics. I never knew arugula was so spicy and peppery. But uh, anyway, that's a little off topic. But uh, it's uh, it's been great for us. We're growing lots of uh, you know basil, chives, uh, tarragon, uh, tons of tomatoes, uh, all kinds of stuff. Um, I'll put pictures, this will be in the newsletter of this project, so you'll see some pictures of the garden and you'll kind of get an understanding of, of uh, you know, the scope of my wife's um, uh, herb garden. Uh, so along with the, uh, the those little uh, hydroponic, you know, units, um, there's little pods and the pods have to have covers if they're not being used. This is, uh, this is one of the covers. Uh, that uh, comes from Arrow Garden. It's a little plastic thing, about an inch and a half in diameter, uh, about a 16 inch thick on the top, but it's got this little lip on it that kind of seats like a like a, um, a box top, if you will. So I've got to turn a bunch of these because she needs a bunch covered and she doesn't have enough of these. These are cheap, but you know, I'm a wood turner, so why not turn some? So that's the project today. Um, I'm going to just do it out of poplar and uh, I'll paint, be painting them a black anyway, so I've got a little chunk of poplar I was practicing on, so I'll use this and I'm going to use it with the LEO drive with the drawbar. So this is what uh, we talked about in uh, the previous video. Uh, the drawbar is uh, a new development uh, with the LEO drive. This is now the LEO DR. LEO DR, the DR stands for drawbar ready. So. LEO DRs have a threaded insert in the end that I've uh, been able to uh, uh, make work so uh, through some, some trial and error and research. So uh, that allows for a quarter by 20 uh, threaded rod drawbar to be used. So that's what we'll be doing today. So let me take this uh, 2 inch LEO drive, uh, sorry, LEO DR, and uh, mount it onto my chunk of poplar and uh, I'll show you how to. Uh, how to install it with the, uh, the drawbar. So let me get that going. Okay, I've uh, I've got my uh, uh, LEODR uh, screwed to this chunk of poplar. Uh, three, I think they're number tens or or something like that, about an inch, inch and a half. I know it's it's end to end grain, which uh, typically is not a a uh, uh, you know way to hold. Uh, faceplate items, uh, but this is such a small piece, uh, such a lightweight wood, um, I'm comfortable with it. So um, do what you feel comfortable and safe doing. Uh, this is my method and uh, I, I subscribe to it, so um, that's that's my disclaimer, so <laughs> we'll go from there. Uh, so this mounts right into the headstock. Let me uh, just tilt the camera a little bit. And then uh, the drawbar here um, goes in the other end and just screws on. And we're getting tight. Yeah, just finger tight, that's all I need. Um, well, I think from what, I, what I'm thinking about or what I thought about before is you know, obviously making this uh, little uh, lip, uh, you know, the uh, tenon basically for the, for the lid, and then uh, uh, you know getting all that cut down, all this faced off, and then cutting them off with a parting tool, and then have to mount them in jam chuck or something like that just to face this side off. So, uh, so it'll be a two mounting process for each disc, um, which I think is really the only way to really get this top face uh, nice and clean. So, got a big, um, it's a Thompson skew, but uh, shaped like an Allen laser skew. I actually took an Allen laser class, uh, two days of classes, just uh, a couple of weeks ago at 
at our club, uh, Dallas area wood turner. So uh, that was enjoyable. Uh, good class, um, good turner, pretty good teacher. So uh, if you get a chance, uh, you know, Alan Lacer's uh, um, good at teaching the skew and, and you get good practice using the skew. So anyway, here we go. So I put up a uh, tailstock support uh, with a cup center uh, just to uh, help steady uh, uh, the planing and, and smoothing off that I'm doing on the, on the cylinder. for the outside. Um, now I'm going to cut this diameter which is going to be pretty precise. So I think it's uh, 1 and 5 sixteenths from what I, uh, what I wrote down earlier. So let's, uh, let's peel that off. this and now I've got to put a jam chuck, fit it there and then clean this side off. So, But first I gotta cut as many as I can on here, probably get six or eight. <laughs> Uh, that was fun, I guess. I've got uh, I've got seven of these things cut out. 
um, off this uh, blank. I'm not going to go any further because I've got screws in there. So um, what I'll probably do is use my um, chuck. Just grab these briefly and uh, face off these sides. So we'll get set up and do that. Okay, I've got the uh, uh, pin jaws uh, chuck on here, and let me zoom in. Can you see that? Yeah, there you go. So, um, the one thing, I'm, I can get at it, no problem. It's just a, a bit of a, uh, a possible knuckle buster, but we'll give it a go and uh, see how it goes. pretty good. So I don't know if you can see the definition there. A little bit. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, got them done. Well, first of all, uh, finger. Uh, you know, I knew it was a knuckle buster, but uh, it turned out to be a fingertip buster. So I just got my finger caught on there, cut a little bit. It's not bad. Um, and uh, but I've got seven of them done. There's uh, that's what you know what they look like. There's a little stack of them. So over to the bench, paint them up, and then uh, spray them with uh, lacquer or acrylic, maybe. So we'll uh, we'll take a look at them when they're done. Okay, so project's done. Finished with this uh, LEODR waste block and uh, got seven of these uh, little uh, Arrow Garden pod covers uh, created. So painted black and just covered with some, uh, or finished with some polyacrylic. And uh, so uh, that's it. Uh, water based paint, water based finish for, uh, you know, uh, water. Um, garden basically water hydroponic garden so thought that made sense uh, we'll see how they stand up but uh, um, a simple project but something we had to get done um, you know uh, a lot of us can't be out in the shop here unless we're uh, got a happy home so I, uh, I love my wife very much and I try to make her happy and these little things make her happy so cheers till next time thanks bye